Well, hello. So I'm coming to you today from Sedge Meadow. And there's Willem. Hello there. And we got the campfire going. Look at this. Isn't that just wonderful? And we have this nice little shelter over our swing. You have to turn it around so that they can see the shelter. <laughs> still higher, still higher. Oh. Yeah, something like that. I did that. Oh, you did. Good. <laughs> anyway, so there's the fire, and here we're sitting by the stream. Oh, it was a little close. That was what was wrong. Look, reflections. The reflections look very blue. Don't they look pretty? Whereas actually up there it's very... Very whatever, white. And the bridge and trees to give shade here in a few years. Oh, I could show them around everything, couldn't I, before it gets dark? Yeah. Okay, I'll do it. Okay, so here we have, once upon a time, Sedge Meadow Teepee. The poles that are here are the originals. And, and behind it now we have another little shelter. And this teepee once was a place to watch the pilot woodpeckers from. This year I built gardens around it. Big garden beds. And so we had this wonderful crop. I stuck that tree in just to be decorative. And it is thatched. You see this? This is Phragmites. And I suppose I'll get better at thatching once I start following the rules. And here, here we have the children's play area, which they built. I helped. I think it needs to be rebuilt. I think that's going to go up and inside. So here we have, this used to be, this used to be a double wall here, so it was it was this wide, it was a foot wide, and it was full of leaves, but something happened and it's no longer didn't work. So anyway, so here it is now. And this is the baffle to keep the wind from coming across the side of the teepee. And this is the kitchen in here. I've always wanted to have a, a satellite teepee on a teepee. Oh, and there's where we were. Over there is Willem with the fire. It went. You know how we got it to go this time? A candle. All right, and so here we have, this is the doorway. It's not as rounded as it usually is. I think the plastic thing I had here is, oh, it's, there it go. Oh, I had to put it way up high in there. Anyway, so I have a, a thing here and another one over here. And then I take these big bags of grass, uh, leaves, and I, I put three of them on and then I fill the top in with leaves. So let's see how much this will show. If we go inside here, it is black, isn't it? Well, I have, I have a light over here. I keep my lights somewhere where they won't freeze. Down deep, deep. Okay, there's one. I don't know where to go. Oh, this is not working. Uh, shall I sing you a song while you wait? Three little ducks went out to play. Why can't I find it? What is wrong? Over the hills and far away, Mother Duck said, quack, 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 quack. Okay, here we go. Light. So, over here, Oh, well, things are not as tidy as they should be, but this is the kitchen. Place to sit, table, place to put food. I have a high chair here, so I, or a step-up chair, so I can work on the thatching. And then I have over here a lovely, helps if I shine the light on it, eh? That's um, emergency blanket 
and I have a bed of, of grass. I made a mattress out of grass. And then I have, I have um, under there, I have some blankets, but they are under there because it's melting right now. Oh, and I have a swing. Want to see the swing? Here it is. You want to go swinging? Okay. See, we can go all the way back and we bump into the wall. And then that's west, you see, W. And east, up there for the east. Okay, so let's sit on the swing now. Go swinging in the teepee. We're swinging in the teepee. What a glorious feeling. Just swinging in the teepee. And we're swinging, swinging, swinging. Are you getting dizzy? All right. But it's really fun. And you can go all the way back. You see, now I have another uh, another uh, hammock here for guests. The cushions are out of place, but that cushion goes on that chair. And then um, another chair over here. And anyway, got all that I need. So I have to put them back to close it up. And I will just put this away here. Step over it. Oh, we're losing our light. And that is where we were, in my little cave. Willem always wanted to live in a cave. So here we get to live in a cave. He's a lucky man. Yes, he is. He's a very lucky man to live in a cave now. Right, Willem? I said, you've always wanted to live in a cave, and you're a lucky man because now you get to live in a cave. Well, you really want to live in a cave. That's sort of an interesting idea to explore. Oops. I wonder if I could put this where it, we could be, can have a video of what's happening there. Where are you? Oh, there you are. I'm going to push the camera out. And I'll go up like that. Yeah, you can even see. Hi, chickadee. There. Okay. See, and now here we are together, together, together. I could bring this chair over and sit in this chair beside you. Because in that way, I would not be adding the rope to this swing if there's a need of Okay. So you're going to give up on the sunset then, are you? Oh no, the sun is set. Yes, we were watching the sunset. But it's all done. Right? I don't know. It's getting dark. Hey, we could turn on our little solar lights here in a little while. Yeah. I have a flashlight with me. Isn't this lovely? So, uh, what, do you mean, what do you mean turning them on? Are they not going automatically? Um, well, you have to, no, you have to turn the little lever. That's what's the problem with them, is because, because of that, it's hard to use them in the teepee. Because then they, um, you have to reach your hand through the thatch to turn the switch. Well, you can't do that. But you have these garden lights. I don't think you need to switch them on, do you? I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe those are... But I don't have any of them. Right. I think they cost a lot. That's why I don't they might. buy them. So I'm learning more about lighting a, camp, lighting a fire now. I'm so glad. You have to keep feeding the inside of it. And not after this point when you've got coals, but... I've been practicing lighting fires in the rain. So, there was this guy who I watched on YouTube and he said to use, you roll up duct tape. Finger size, three finger size duct tapes. And, and then you, but that makes black smoke, so I, I don't want to do that. But I did it once. And so then I tried it with um, paper tape, you know, like the, the wide kind for doing painting. And that didn't work. That burned up too quickly. And then, then I tried paper. Of course, that didn't work, not with wet wood. I kept feeding it more and more and more paper. And 
so this time we used a little tea light. And we had dry wood. We started with some dry bark that was hanging off a tree. I think the thing to do is to find the dry stuff. You have to maybe have to lift some leaves or you have to go underneath something. Find and things that are vertical. And if you have a knife, you can just break a thicker branch off and just cut into it and get some you know, cut some really thin slivers that curl up. And I've seen that on a video too. We've been spending our COVID vacation um, learning all these important life skills. Because what if you needed to know how to make a fire in the wet? And you don't know. And you need to know because you are cold. You know, like not having a fire, you're lost in the woods or, you know, shipwrecked on a desert island, on an iceberg. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So bring matchbox, and bring candle, <laughs> tea lights. That's right, tea lights yeah. and, and a lighter, yeah. always, yes. Yeah, and uh, a knife. I think I think a knife is useful for everything. So. Yeah. Yeah, if you, and if the bark is all wet, I haven't tried it. Oh, and then there's this birch polypore. There's a birch tree and there's this thing that sticks out and it looks like that. It's kind of a, whatever it is. Sort of a fungus or a mushroom it, Yeah, it's a whatever. mushroom. What is it called? It's a kind of a mushroom. A, uh, related to mushrooms, that's pretty much it. Anyway, but they're they're really solid and they're dry inside and they are really good for fire starter. Also birch. Birch bark is good. But and birch bark, because it has oil in it, it burns very hot. It can help dry wood, I would think. This is a nice little campfire. We're ready now for the marshmallows and hot dogs. Too bad we can't eat them. Okay, now everybody that we invited should come. Except we didn't invite anybody because we didn't know we were going to do it. Duh. That's the way it always is, isn't it? I wish you were invited. If you, were, if you knew about this and you Oops. wanted to come, you could just show up. I was hoping if people drive by on the highway and see a little campfire, they might stop and want to have a little little time at the campfire. Do you want to put that one over it? But probably not because I think a lot of people have campfires and it's like cottager place here. Like there's the summer people. Those are the cottagers. And then there's the rest of us. The locals. We're local now. Because mm -hmm. there's people that have only been here five years and we've been here 25. So we're... That's pretty cool. So I'm using my Zoomy camera again. Mm -hmm. I charged the battery. I started to do this the other day. Careful. Yeah. And I, I ended we'll up with... The, um, the, the card was full. Anyway, but now all is well. I emptied the card. It's too bad that this branch is... We only can burn the end of it. Dry stuff. You know, we could have some tea. I don't know if I have any nettles down here or not. I have pumpkin seeds. We could have, hot. We could have boiled pumpkin seeds. Like bowl of peanuts. Pumpkin seeds. That would be very good for us. So now you can probably get this one and take that one out. Okay, let's see if I can break it. What? You can take this little one there and shove it in. No, the, the little one. Yeah, that one too. Pining away all by itself. 
Here, I'll take it from the other end. Don't send it like that. Oops, sorry. <laughs> sorry about it. It's okay. You didn't touch me. We're still friends. <laughs> this is my husband. This is, and I'm his wife. That's right. My my husband is out with Nancy. I wish I could break this. I guess I need to let more of the air in there, right? Not enough space between everything. Yeah. How's that? Right in your foot. In my boot. Boot. You don't the flames anymore and all of a sudden. I buried it too big. No, wait, 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 go within my face. Yeah, let's go ahead and I always put the flames out. Okay, careful, put it on fire. Yeah. Look at that. It's starting. It's It's a very interesting place, isn't it? All these trees that are falling from the... being waterlogged from time to time. Because of the happy beavers. So have I buried... have I... what have I done? I put things too far apart? No idea. There we go. I think, I think there's big stuff directly on the cold without any air below it. Ah, well then, I can fix that. You can lift this one up, maybe. There, now we got fire. Oh, very good, well done. I don't think that part with the coals really wants to burn anymore. I think I messed it up. Why do I do that? Why do I mess it up all the time? I have to learn better. See, a good fire it has an airflow coming from, from below. And at the flames, you know, the hot air goes, goes up to the flames. There's not much of an alpha below, and this will be a problem. So when I do the wood stove, and I put logs in the wood stove, I make a trench, 
mm -hmm. so that there's room for air to get below the logs and put, uh, and put paper and stuff in the middle and small wood stuff in the middle to start it. And it works. Yeah, I think it normally works, yeah. There, I did it, Willem. I got it going again. Sorry about the smoke. This one needs to be up higher on that end, too. What can we put under there? See now here all that's burning is the ground. There's a bed of coals. Yeah. Oh it's leaves I think actually. We got some nice coals here. Fire. My feet are cold from having them on the snow. This is time to warm my feet again. Cold feet seems to be the main reason that people want to go back home. My feet are cold or their hands are cold. So if you have a good fire, <laughs> and you can get your feet warm and dry. Because you suck right in the flame. Yeah. That's why it's moving fast, like popcorn. Right. Or marshmallow. <laughs> I'm browning it. Yeah. Oh, it feels warm. It's coming through. Much better. Oh, look at that. I have a nice one. So, are you comfortable over there in your wooden chair? Yeah. You no, know, this people that are here with us, whoever uh -huh. is here, if anyone is here. I mean, we didn't invite anybody, so we don't really have to have anybody here, but since you're here anyway, hi. Can you pull my boot? So you're starting to run out of big wood. I know, our camper is almost over. Yeah. We'll have to go inside. Turn all our little lights on so I can find my lights. I can't find them. I'm always having that problem. Do you want to turn these on? How do you turn these on? Um, you, on the back of the square mm -hmm. is a little bump with plastic. And um, inside that, you know, you you push on that, you, mm -hmm. you turn it on there. Right. It slides. The middle is off to one side is flickering and the other side is straight. <sighs> it's a sliding button. The sliding button. There, it's on. Oh, yeah. Oh, now it's not. Now it's on. Now it's not. I should hang up my mittens to dry. See the fire? No, it's, it's flickering, but well, flickering is one side. So you turn yeah, the it. other, the other side. When I push to the other side. It 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 goes on, but when I let it go, then it's still Oh, okay. Maybe I think I didn't it push has it. something to do with if it's still light outside. It doesn't like it if you turn them on while it's still got any light coming on them. 
Yeah, that's possible. Doing it anyway, you stay home right now. Yeah. Do you want to hammer that mitten beside you? Is it dry? So we're pretending we're camping. This is such a cool place, you know, this lovely little cabin. Can our viewers see the lights? I guess they can't see the lights. No, not yet. I mean, the screen is it's probably not in the right angle. Yeah, the, it's kind of hard to get the campfire and us. Right. We should probably try it again. I have to put my foot back in my boot first. Are you okay? You're getting smoked out again? I love you, Rimmer. Me too, Nancy. This is fun. Yeah. This is our date. Mm -hmm. So we bring people along on our dates. I can't believe what a good fire we had going on. This is really cool. It was. I only took me one trip across the, one trip across the bridge to my pile of brush. That's not bad. Mm -hmm. Of course, we used a candle. Don't forget that. I love a little candle. Of course, using duct tape is probably cheaper. Yeah, but then it's it's got that black smoke. No, I, like I didn't rubber. notice that on the, on the, on the video. What's the video again? Maybe it's the brand of the maybe it's the particular it, uh, brand of, of duct tape that makes well, a difference. Well, duct tape has got lots of crap in it, right? It's not made of paper or wood. So what's it made of? Plastic, right? I'm not sure about plastic. There's lots of glue in it, of course, but the backing of it, yeah, it could be plastic. I don't know. Yeah, it's like vinyl. Or something. I don't know. This dog barks every evening at me. Or maybe he just barks anyway and he doesn't even notice. But I always think he's barking at me because he barks when I'm here. But if I'm not here, I don't know if he's barking. What a profound statement. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this is really, really nice right there. Maybe I just leave it like that. It's really a beautiful little fire. Can you still see it? Yeah, you can see it. Can you still see us? Yeah, I can still see it. <laughs> I was trying to find the flashlight in there. I couldn't find it and I was looking under the, under, feeling around under the leaves for it. And, and then I realized how boring that must be to wait in the dark. Well, I look for my so what is that? What is that a reddish thing on the top of the screen there? The red dot? Yeah. That means it's, or it's recording. Or is it not, it's not part of the picture? Or is it? No. It's your, it's your bright eye. Okay. <laughs> call you red eye. So they're going to they're gonna, uh, fly on Saturday or Friday in a week. They're going to go all the way around the world. That's a long way. Hmm. So we have this here. We can make, make even more use of this. Okay. Here, yeah. You want me to step on it and then you can lift it and see if we can break it? Uh, no, it's not too easy. It's pretty thick. Let's try and see if we can... Oops. There we go. Look at that. There, I didn't put it out. But I could any moment. I'm getting Get a different chair? Do you want another chair? No, usually it goes this way. No, just just to link, when there is no movement and the air is careful is disturbed. Yeah, they sometimes get it in my face. Now I have a 
a question. Mm -hmm. When when cars come from the west, I get cell service. I don't get it when they come from the east. I only get it when they come from the west, and I get it. I guess I get it when they're here, and as they pass, and then they're gone, and I have cell service for a few minutes. Ooh, so what's yeah. with that? I have no idea, darling. I have my th my thoughts about it. I don't know if I'm right, but I was thinking perhaps it's from all these cars have all this um, cell service in them now, right? They're Wi-Fi and data, and they answer the phones. And it's possible that the uh, and there's a bit of a that trail. The, that the car has a sort of a, um, like amplifier in it, or something, something that amplifies the signal. Oh. Oh. And that you picked that up? Oh, that's it, yeah. A signal amplifier. Yeah. Well, in another 10 years, we'll be using those cars. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll have one too. <laughs> Our kids used to want to go to the movies, and we would always tell them, wait till it's out on video and we'll rent it. And that was a V VCR stuff back then. Mm -hmm. They don't even have to rent it, you just watch it on Netflix. Or whatever. Of course, you have I to pay for that too. I don't begrudge the $10 a month. I mean, we don't have cable or anything. Right, yeah. And cable is, is nowhere near as good. Cable is so limited. You only get these few choices of what is on right now. And you have to make sure you're there in time. And you can't rewind it unless you tape it first. getting smaller. Is that bigger now? No, the person brought this amplifier thing. It still doesn't explain why you only get it when people drive from that direction. I know. The other side of the now, it, maybe it has to do with the, the valley, and we're in a lowland and they bring it in the valley. I don't know. But, but maybe there's no, I don't know. Like there's three kilometers down the road there's signal. Well, and around the corner, up by Cineland, up on the hill, there's Sigma, hmm. and at our house. It's just, just right in here that there isn't Sigma. Well, from here into the village, you know, there's not much. There's one spot. Hmm. I'm sorry. Are you sure you don't want to sit in this chair? I'm sure. You do? No, no, I'm sure about oh, okay. that. This is fine. Not a big deal. Hmm. Well, I don't want the smoke all going in your face. Here, I'll do that. You know, I was more, 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 more worried about the embers they're flying in my pants here. Ah. <laughs> Setting them on fire. It's just jogging pants at the moment. It would make a hole. Probably. Oops. Stop it. A stiff breeze. Yeah, so the wind direction now changes, I think. Mm -hmm. It's important that we're right beside the stream in case it gets away from us. How are you doing over there? Would you like a better view? I could try that. Should I fix the show view? Them, yeah, show them, show them the, 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 the little, these little lights here. I don't think you can see them. Oh, okay. Sorry. Alright, so there is well, and there's our little lights. And there's the campfire. I'll come over here by the stream and I'll walk around and hear the snow. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Crunch, crunch. Let's just see the stream. There it is. Looks very are you is the screen dirty here? I don't know if there's anything I can wipe it with without making it worse. Yeah, made it worse. Thanks a lot, right? Hmm. 
Not very good, is it? Well, anyway, so there's the campfire. And there's the little lights. And there's the Willem. My Willem. All right, so where could I put you? I could put you here. Oh, wait. Oh, wrong way. Oh, I can't see the fire. We have to be back farther, I guess, so that you'll see the fire. Oops, wrong way. Where's Willem? Oh, I see, you're hidden. just have to hold on to it, I think. Okay. There we go. Hello, Willem. There are the tea lights, whatever they're called. Oh, it looks blue. It's not it's white. Just sure. like the snow. See, that's where that's where we live now.